the Golden Miller Novices Chase Grade 1 event. It's our second race of the day. It's over two miles and four furlongs. And the runners are as follows. So Coletto Pertico for Darren Thompson. Hit to be square for Joshua Sutherland. Man O' Magic for John Morgan. The Ice King and William the Conqueror for Leon Van Rensburg. Fergus Falls for Darren Thompson. Cagliani Flip for David Robertson. Ozark Slipper for Vinnie Gerrard. The Long Pools for Joshua Sutherland. And Wild Neat and the Young Ones for Craig Allen. Make up 10 and 11. To go over the novices here. The start has got them away and they're racing. Leon winning the last. At the top of the leaderboard alongside Alex with three wins so far apiece. We get to the first of the 16 here. Everyone's over and being led by the Leon Van Rensburg Ice King. He's, I think, pretty more pretty been put in here as a bit of a front runner for William the Conqueror. Well, he's not gone off too quick. There's a stream over the second. A bit of a poor jump in the wide here. It's hit to be square for Josh Sutherland. But it's the Ice King that's going to lead us. Although taking a little bit of a keen hold by about three or four lengths in the remainder. Just being pushed through the grab against the fences. Man of Magic for John Morgan. Just on his outside is Fergus Falls for Darren Thompson. And we've got William the Conqueror for Leon Van Rensburg. Widest still is the long pause of Josh Sutherland. And they're just being followed by, through by the Green Silks of Ozark Slipper. Hems horses are in there, Wild Neat, the young ones up against the fence. Aaron Thompson's Coletto Vertico as they get to the third. And we'll go over that, a slow jump of the river, young ones, and David Robbins' Cagliani flip. So it's the Ice King that leads us into the fourth, takes that one really well. And we've lost one, this Fergus Falls has gone for Darren Thompson, unlucky. Still got Cor Coletto Vertico in here. So we're down one for the first five and it's the Ice King that still leads us, although a bit reluctantly. Long Pauls who's moved into second as they get to the fifth. A bit slow over that, the leader, a couple of mistakes in the rear, but the Ice King still leads by about three or four to Man and Magic and Long Pauls together. A further length back to Wild Neat with Craig Allen as they go over the six. Better jumping again. The one that's getting a little bit caught for pace at the moment is Cagliani Flip. It's very race left-handed. It's the Ice King that's still going to lead us by about three or four as the rain comes down here. Long Pauls, Mano, Magic, William the Conqueror's moved into fourth up against the fences, Young Ones. Outside of there is Corletto Pertico. And Wild Neat. Hit to be square, Ozark slip up. And then Cagliani flip, just being scrubbed along a little bit just to get onto the back of the pack. But this well held up Ice King. Held himself up, running into the seventh. Moved it slowly, but still leads by about three to the Long Pauls who's moved into second, William the Conqueror's third. To the Tico and Man and Magic are together. We'll get over the water. We're starting to get a little bit single file. We look like the Ice King has gone off at that much of a pace. Coming on, he flips, but we've been caught by it as they get to the big ditch of the ninth. All over that. And the long pause has jumped himself within half a length of the Ice King now. And he's 1 2. And William the Conquering third as they go over the 10th, which is the, the plain one uphill. And still the Ice King from Long Pauls. Hit to be squares moving to third. Nano Magic and William the Conqueror moving well on the outside now is Ozark Slipper as they start to race down the hill. Go over the 11th. Better jump there by the Long Pauls and draws alongside the Ice King. So the Long Pauls, the Ice King, these are your 1-2. Then you've got Hit to be square and Nano Magic. Moments drop back a little bit now is William the Conqueror. But it's the Long Pauls that heads for home first. Got a length advantage now from the Ice King on the inside. Moving up on the outside is Hit to be square. So the two just suffer on horses. Here comes William the Conqueror out of the pack. So it's Leon Van Rensburg and... Josh Sutherland. These four horses go over the 13th together. The better jump was hit to be square, but it's the long pause that just noses in front now of the Ice King. Hit to be square, William the Conqueror, John Morgan's Man O' Magic trying to close the gap as well as Coletto Petico. I'm not sure that anything else is going to get into this, but it's the long pause that leads us over the 14th. Three from home. From his hip to be square, so the long pause, hip to square. Here comes Coletto Petico for Darren Thompson, and it's Coletto Petico that throws down the challenge and takes on the long pause, and it's Coletto Petico lengthens his lead by a length now as we come down to three furlongs with two to jump it's Coletto Petico, the long pulls, hip to be square, William the Conqueror and the Ice King have got nothing left it's this Coletto Petico that's gone off like a bolt here, leads leads over the 15th, a little bit slow, coming back at him, the long pulls and hip to be square, running on really well now is Ozark Slipper as well as Wild Knee, but it's the Josh Sutherland horses that swamp Coletto Petico over the last, inside the final furlong and it's the long pulls and hip to be square, here comes William the Conqueror again, 
but the long pause is starting to stretch out as we go up the hill from Hit to be square in second. William the Conqueror looks like might hang on for third, but man, I imagine it's probably going to take it. Could be a one-two for Josh Sutherland, but he wins it with the long, the long pause. Man, I imagine if John Morgan got up for second, Hip to be square was third. William the Conqueror probably our favourite. Uh, Leon van Rensburg was fourth. So, as they took the first two on the opening day yesterday, Josh Sutherland wins the JLT with the long pause. Uh, Leon's winner in the last. Both move up to the top of the leaderboard with four wins apiece. So the long pause for Joshua Sutherland, man and agent for John Morgan, hip to be square for Joshua Sutherland was third. William the Conqueror for Leon van Rensburg was fourth. I tell a lie, not four wins apiece, three wins apiece.